Hi, my name is Waruna Sitwayalo. I'm Mariah Inger. And we are the coordinators of the Artist Mentorship Program at Black Theatre Workshop. And today is Giving Tuesday. And Giving Tuesday is a movement dedicated to giving back. And this year, we are asking you to give back to us so that we can support our this year's ensemble with our showcase, because we need to get all of the health guidelines in order for the pandemic and make sure that we get our amazing artists showcased out there nationally um, like we do every single year. So who do we have for a chat with us today, Mariah? So we've brought in uh, a couple of mentees, current mentees, and also some past mentees, some mentors, and just wanted to give you a little bit of their point of view within the program. So I'd like to introduce Dakota Wellman, Christine Rodriguez, Arun Varma, Zoe Nguyen, and Charity, oh, and Charity at Z's. For a second there, I wasn't sure if we had Charity with us. <laughs> <laughs> we do, yay. <laughs> so we'll be asking you a few questions. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us uh, today. Dakota and Christine are past mentees and Charity, Aaron and Zui are in the present ensemble right now. So I'm gonna start with you, Christine, because I believe you're the one that has been, that you started, <laughs> You were in the one of year one or year two or something like that. And and you also work at Black Theatre Workshop now as a school tour coordinator. So you've been able to really see you've come as a guest to different um, artist mentorship program years. What what what's the growth that you've seen over the past eight years from when you were first in the program? Um, I think that uh, I, I think I was in the second cohort and uh, I've seen so much growth um, in terms of um, the the breadth of the program with the kinds of uh, experts that are coming in um, to to help support the artists. Um, for example, when I was doing the program, we didn't have any voiceover workshops. So that's been added. We had like, you know, a lot of theater auditioning workshops, uh, film and TV auditioning, uh, grant writing, a couple of other things. But one of the things notable to me that I feel um, sad about missing out is the voiceover workshop, just as an example. Um, and also uh, the, the way that the, the program ends with the showcase, I've seen it evolve into an actual show in a theater. And for me, that's so important because I feel that um, it's really bringing the mentees up to like a, a, a professional level in terms of what a professional production would be like with the stage manager, with all the elements so that they're better prepared when they do get that that job in a production in a professional production so I think that's that's so important and and um, that's part of the evolution I've seen and, and that I think is making the program stronger and stronger thank you that's amazing. Uh, Dakota you too you also uh, were in the program a few years ago and now well more a little bit more than a few but now you're a mentor talk to us a little bit about that transition and what it's been like for you um, living here in Montreal for the past few years going from mentee to mentor yeah uh, absolutely so I am originally from Ontario but went to university in the eastern townships of Quebec and uh, after I graduated school, my plan was originally to move back to Ontario. Um, but then when I did the QDF student uh, general auditions, I met Quincy and he told me about this program. And I was like, wait, pause, what? There is an opportunity, uh, a space for people like me? Hell yeah, I'm in. Um, so when I came to Montreal to participate in AMP, um, I was like a little scared 23 year old who didn't want to get anything wrong and was like sort of afraid to ask questions. Um, but I also didn't know anybody. It was my, I didn't know anybody in the city. So I was really looking at it as, uh, as a fresh start, as a, you know, I'm going to hit the ground running and try and take advantage of as much as I can. And so I've been here for five years now, uh, and in those like last five years, I've met a wonderful community, been embraced by the community, and had so many experiences in, in terms of stage work, uh, TV and film, voice stuff, uh, and it's been it's been great. And then last summer, I don't know when you approached me about uh, about being a mentor, uh, 
<laughs> I remember I was like, me? What? I'm still a mentee. Like feeling that like, you know, I, I have so much to learn still. Um, but echoing something that Mariah had mentioned to me earlier this year when we were working together, the best way to mentor and a lot of uh, how all of us know how to mentor is from our own experiences and from what we've made mistakes on or from what we've learned from. So coupling, you know, Mariah's wisdom and Warona's wisdom as well as all of the mentors before me, uh, I really try and marry my experiences and my knowledge with those of the mentees. And I mix for some, some really funky relationships that are pretty fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Um, I want to go to our, our new mentees. I have uh, Charity, Aron, and, and Zoe. I'd like to um, ask maybe Aron, you can start. I would like to know why AMP and, and what brought you here? Right, yeah. Um, well, why AMP? Because uh, kind of as soon as I arrived in Montreal in 2018, I started hearing about this program the my introduction to the montreal theater community was the uh like a the, the black theater workshop event in september and that was when they announced uh that they're, they're like mentors mentees for that year or something that's and i was like oh, what is that and i kept hearing about it through the many wonderful people i've worked with they kept this name kept coming up so i started looking a bit more into it and i found that yeah this it was it was perfect because um you know in addition to being like uh, you get advice about your, your acting and your performance from people who are in the industry. But beyond that, it's you get to learn a lot of the uh, unwritten rules which govern this industry, which uh, it's really hard to like find concrete info on. Um, so that was the, the biggest draw for me. And already, even though we're, I mean, just about coming to halfway, I think, um, I've, I mean, the amount of time, uh, stuff that I've learned has been incredible. So great decision on my part to, to be a part of it. <laughs> yeah. And we love it that you're there. So welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, uh, I would love to, uh, Zoe, what, what, how do you feel in this, in this program and why now? Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> whew, gonna get emotional. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy that I'm here in this program. I still think about it and I'm like, Wow, I can't believe it. Um, I, I came from Vietnam. I came to Canada six years ago. And just, I just have this passion for movies and to be an actor. And But then again, I'm from a different country. So I always thought that there's no way anybody would lay eye on me because there's thousands of people, millions of people out there who's born here speaking the language. There's no way I get a chance. But then, you know, I met Barona through QDA um, general audition, and then she told me about I did a workshop, and I'm like, I'll give it a shot, but there's no way I'm gonna get in. Mm -mm. And then I got in, and it just insane. I literally, literally broke down when Barona and Marvaya told me that I got into the program in the callback. It just it's literally life changing because I thought I was, you know, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to do it alone. But then suddenly I have a bunch of professionals in the industry actually believe in me and here to teach me. So I can't thank you enough. Well, we're really happy to have you, darling. So that's why you were chosen. You came because you had talent. You were chosen for talent. <laughs> and now you're just part of the family. So we're happy to see you. Where are we at now? How about you, Charity? I actually want to hear the, the answer from you as well about like, yeah, what found you in here? Yes. So myself, I actually started out at, I was at Dawson. So I did the whole three-year theater program there. And from the beginning, I had one of my professors tell me about, you know, Black Theater Workshop. And I had already kind of heard about it, you know, because I'm always like, where are the other Black people, you know? So like, I already kind of had it in my, in, in my, in my brain, you know? So um, towards the end of my time at Dawson in third year, I really started to look into it because you know, I was like, where, where am I going to go after this? What am I going to do? And I, 
I had already seen a lot of productions, of course, and I was like, I there's there's no way that I'm going to graduate from my theater program and not try to get in with Black Theater Workshop and not try to make that part of, you know, the community I want to be in. So I just had to apply and um, here we are. Uh, it's, you know, we're almost halfway through. I've learned so much and, you know, obviously no one was expecting it to be on Zoom, but it's still something to really look forward to when we have our classes on Monday and then we have our peer-to-peer -peer classes as well. So it's always like, I don't know, it just always feels like even though we're far away at this point, it still feels like we're building that community, especially since, you know, we're, we all don't know each other. We're all from different walks of life and parts of the world. So I just think I, I really love the program and I'm just really happy to be there. And we're so happy to have you. Thank you so much. Um, Christine, I'm going to come back to you uh, because you're, it, you have this unique situation. You're not the only person who has come into mm -hmm. our program who is a parent. We've actually mm -hmm. had two babies born while people are on programs, but you yeah. know, you were not just a parent. You had actually, you've been a model, you had been an ad executive, all this stuff. And then you decided to come into acting or sort of come back to acting uh, after being out of it for a really long time. And a lot of the time, emerging programs are just for uh, younger people, but our program is for everybody. And I'm not saying Christina's not young. Christina's very young and fresh, but there's no age limit is my whole point. And I just wanted you to talk a little about what that was like coming back, doing a program like this. I believe your son was like almost a teenager at that time and, and, and having to do, and you were in the program at a time when you could do two disciplines at a time and you were doing writing and acting. And what was all of that like? Um, it was great because uh, initially, uh, when uh, what happened is I had my son and I was a stay-at-home mom and I wanted to go back to work part-time, so I thought, well, I'll go back to modeling. And what happens to women of a certain age is that uh, you're not really doing a lot of print work and modeling work. They push you to do a lot of TV commercials. Um, so I started auditioning for that, but I wasn't equipped. I, I wasn't even, I never trained as an actor. Um, so I started taking lots of acting uh, workshops in Toronto and then Montreal and uh, but the thing is you always feel really insecure because you have people who um, have gone to theater school and then so uh, but I you know and then and then you get a certain segment that well I mean you just feel like you're too old it's too late um, but talking to you talking to Mike uh, Payette was running the program back 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 when I was in it. And it was such a tremendous relief because you guys believed that I could do it. It didn't matter about my age. Um, and I think it goes to the whole experience of Black Theater Workshop that there's people who come from different backgrounds, um, you know, people of color, LGBTQ, um, it's just all kinds of different backgrounds who feel like there's no place for me in this industry. And so like age is another category, I would say. Um, but you know, it, the, the program gave me so much confidence and, and the, the, I was given permission to believe in myself. And at the same time, all the other people, a lot of them were like, probably young enough to be my children. Um, but you know, the, but the atmosphere was just that everybody's accepted in the program. Um, we're all treated the same and we're all given support to believe that we can succeed. And that is so important um, uh, because you don't really get that. I mean, you'll have agents, so you're too old or you have, you know, you just don't get auditions or you just, you know, but um, once you start working the hardest and the, you get that confidence from the, the mentorship program, you start to have more control, of, feel you have control over your destiny. So you can't say, well, it's because I'm old. It's because you work your hardest and you just say, well, things are going to happen. And, you know, I've been around for a while and I thought things were never going to happen and things, you know, obviously I'm not going to get the same amount of work as somebody who's 20, but at the same time, things are happening for me in a different way, um, but they are happening. And also writing is a really great avenue when you feel you're not getting the opportunities for whatever reason, um, starting to create your own work is really a great avenue because there's really no age to writing. Um, so that's a great way if you're struggling and you're like, I have no opportunities, create your own opportunities. So all these things are part of the, the mentorship program and boosting your confidence so that you set that path for yourself, no matter what your age or your background. 
That actually brings me to uh, talking to the current mentees because as Christine just explained basically you know that there was there was a lot of things that allowed her to move forward in her career and advance in her position and i'm wondering for the three new mentees what do you hope to gain from this like what what is your ultimate goal from this program where 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 do you see it landing once you're done where where are you once you're done and i and i'm opening it up because you guys are welcome to communicate together because you might all jump on the same <laughs> the same thoughts so open up your mics my dear friends and and go ahead the three of you jump in um that's i i feel like one of the things that i guess we're all kind of looking for is to build connections first of all and to have those like yeah i know that you want to make a project with me one day or one day we can work on this together or we know each other so well and we can get this thing going that was an idea five years ago and you know, so I guess there's that sense of community and working together to create things that are meaningful, I guess. That's something I'm looking for, definitely. Zoe, I see you shaking your head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I agree with everything Cherry just said, because the community is just, that is, um, so far, that's made the most, not really, like everything made the most impact on me, but just, knowing all these wonderful actors I can call, you know, colleague, working with, learning with, it's just incredible. You know, every, every time I have an audition, I can just like, Charity, can you give me some tip? <laughs> and, or, you know, Espoir or Arun, it's just, it feels so great to have somebody holding, you know, there to catch you when, whenever you fall when you go out and i've just been enjoying the ride so much that i have not thought about the ending <laughs> like this is gonna end next year i'm like i don't know if i can deal with that but <laughs> <laughs> aaron it looks like you wanted to say something yeah i wanted to sort of uh just emphasize i think something that that stood out to me uh, as part of being a part of this program, which is that it's not a class. It's a mentorship program. I think one of the amazing strengths about this program is that you're individually, you're paired with this one mentor who, you know, guides you and helps you out. And that's been so great. It, it's, it's been, because I've taken other, you know, acting workshops, but having that, that close connection, and especially in our program where we have like people who are, their fields of expertise are different. And so if you have questions, you have people like a, a number of different avenues. Like for example, you know, uh, we had a talk about social media, right? Like the other week and like Dakota's insights were like amazing and they really kindle something. So I know if I have a question about that and I do, and I know, you know, who to go to, then, you know, we have like, like my personal mentor, like is for more like monologues and you know, she's a, she's a voiceover actor. So it's, it's really, really cool to have um, that, that one-on-one -on -one connection and you know once you make it it's uh, you know I, I like to think that the mentors aren't going to be like last day of mentorship see you and then just never speak <laughs> to them. it is something that you'll take forward which is which is amazing invaluable yeah well definitely Wadona and I can speak to the fact that we communicate with our ex-mentees forever so I mean as you can see we have Dakota who was in the mentorship Christine who, <laughs> that's just how we go so don't worry Zoe I know there'll be an end date but I mean the whole point is that yeah we're family forever now so that's how it goes I was um, actually thinking about that I was like when you posed the question I was like mentorship doesn't really end because like I mean I'm still here five years later <laughs> exactly <laughs> Exactly. Um, I just want to bring it back to you again, Dakota, because um, I want to sort of focus a little bit on the showcase right now, which is where we put on a show using the writings from the writers in our mentorship program. When we have designers and directors and stage managers, they are the ones that design, direct, and stage manage the showcase. And of course, all our actors perform in it. So it really is something that is created by the ensemble. Um, and so I wanted to talk to you about your showcase when you did it what that was like for you, what you got out of it. Yeah, okay, uh, great. Um, so echoing something that Christine was talking about a little bit earlier is that uh, for the mentees and the emerging artists, like this is a really good way to, you know, get yourself in the, the headspace that you are a professional and that you are about to be introduced as a professional. Um, I've told this story 
like several times. But uh, when we were getting ready for our own showcase, we had to present uh, our choices to Mike, who was running it at the time, as well as the other mentees, uh, our mentors, pardon me. Um, and when I presented my, uh, my choices, I was so focused on, on making sure that I had been getting myself seen, getting my face out there, that I didn't really think about the pieces that I had picked. I just sort of settled on them. I was like, nah, I'll pick this one because it's my age and I'll pick that one because I have to. Um, and then when I was uh, naming the pieces that I had chosen, Mike asked me, why did you choose those pieces? And I gave him those reasons that I just said to you. And he said, not good enough, no. Uh, so I don't accept that. And I was just kind of like, uh, uh, and for me, that moment really like turned things. It was like, okay, uh, I have to take myself seriously because I am professional. I want to be professional. And in order to be one, you, you got to be one, you got to do the work. Um, and so our showcase was uh, in the rehearsal hall. And uh, those, those two weeks of rehearsal, working with the two different directors and really seeing all of the pieces come together uh, by way of like the playwrights original pieces and some of the um, ensemble members like had songs and music and it was just, we turned this place that we were meeting to, meeting in every single week, our home essentially, into a performance space. And it was really exciting, it was fun. And uh, the idea that you really get out what you put into it is, it couldn't have been more true because like as an ensemble, we really, you know, we all crossed the line together, the finish line. And so it was really rewarding. And now to see that it's grown and it's grown way outside of the rehearsal hall. It's, you know, now it's like Christine saying, it was, it's in theaters and like people are able to see it, um, COVID notwithstanding. Uh, people are actually able to come and watch and you get lights and it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful opportunity. And I'm just glad to be a part of the ride still to this day. <laughs> Thank you for that, Dakota. I really love it. It's so nice listening to all of you share about the experiences. <laughs> um, I'm going to go back to the mentees again. I just want to open up the floor to you guys so that you guys can share. Um, what would you, as, as much as you know about the program right now, with, with what you know right now, what would you advise other potential artists, emerging artists, or potential mentees about what they should be looking for, or what reasons to apply, or any of that? What advice would you give to a potential future mentee? I can't hear you, Charity. Put, oh, um, put yeah, no, I was just saying, I was pondering. I was like, damn, that's such a great question. <laughs> um, but honestly, I guess, so cliche, but honestly, you have to be yourself. Like I was so nervous about, you know, for example, we had to audition, we had to do pieces for this program to, for you guys to watch. And then we got feedback on Zoom for it. And I feel like just bringing yourself to the, to your, to your acting and to bringing a bit of yourself into um, like, just every, every, every single thing that you do will guide you uh, will end up guiding you to what you want. Because at first I was like, you know, there's no way, like I might be a black girl, but you know, is the, am I going to fit in? Am I going to be myself? And one of my teachers at school had just told me, just sit with yourself and have that conversation. And honestly, whatever will happen will happen. And things will happen for you if you just, if you just believe that they, they will happen. And I guess that's what's been going on with the program like you know we met so many people we've met other playwrights we've met other actors at this point we've met artistic directors we've met so many people and it's just about it's just about wanting to do that with your own art so i think that's the best kind of advice i could give aaron zui um oh zui are you saying aaron, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Well, let's just um, yeah, no, well, my first uh, piece of advice to someone who is thinking about applying, first and foremost, would be do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Because you really, I mean, if you're having doubts, just do it. Because it, it is it, too good of an opportunity to, to miss out on. And I'm kicking myself because 
you know, I, I got here in 2018 and then 2019, I had the chance to apply, but I, the deadline just whew, went by and I was like, ah, okay. But now I'm like, ah, oh, you know, because the stuff it arms you with, like you begin using it immediately. Like the day after we did our audition stuff, that is information I could use to do for the next, like that week's auditions, right? So miss out a whole year of not knowing this amazing stuff. Um, and like, yeah, a, a lot of what Charlie said is so true, right? Like bring yourself. And I would also say that like, you know, this program helps you find what that is um, through the constructive criticism uh, your, your mentors give you, you know, they, and it's not in like a tear you down kind of way that I've heard a lot of people who went through theater school talk about. It, it is really like a build you up kind of way and, and pointing you in, in the direction that, that because when you're you, you just come across as more genuine and, and, it, and it's better. And so I, yeah, it's, I, I think that, that would be my impression so far. Firstly, do it and then bring yourself. And if you don't, if you, if you don't know what that is, apply so you can find out. Zoe? Wow, okay. So I'm glad that Arun missed out the first two years so that I can get to work with him this year. I <laughs> uh, just want to say that. <laughs> and well, my advice is for the you know coming mentees that be prepared for the overwhelmingly support that you can never get anywhere else it's just it's so uplifting doesn't mean there's not going to be any feedback there's a lot of feedback but it's in a way that make you feel like you're happy to hear it and um and yeah just as charity said Arun said just be prepared to know more about yourself. Like really, really know about yourself. And I know that after the program, you know, if, if, if I make it or not, that's like 50% up to chance. But one thing I know for sure that I know that I learned to believe in myself. I know who I am. And that's the best thing that I can offer. I learned it through Black Dead Workshop, so. Well. What a lovely sentiment to end our little chat on. I just want to say thank you so much to our guests, Dakota, Christine, Arun, Charity, and Zui for joining us today and just having a chat with us. And just want to remind you all, it is still Giving Tuesday, so you can still keep giving, giving, giving. Uh, you can find all the links where you can give right here on the Black Theatre, well, on, if you're on the Black Theatre Workshop Facebook page, if you're on YouTube, skedaddle over to the Facebook page and find out all the information where you can donate. And we will still be open for donations two weeks after Giving Tuesday because we have our Show Some Love campaign. We're still raising money for our showcase so that we can showcase everybody because we will be having the showcase. It will be online, so you will be able to see it. Uh, it'll be in May, but just so you know, we're definitely having it. And that's why we need to raise the money to just have the best environment possible. But in the meantime, you can follow us on Mariah. Where can we be followed? www.blacktheaterworkshop.ca and all of our social media facebook we have a facebook page twitter uh what is it theater btw on twitter mm -hmm. and uh and of course you can find us under black theater workshop on facebook and really just also remember that this money is not only for these wonderful emerging artists uh but it's also for the future ones and we really want to make sure that the program continues to grow only bigger and better so every penny counts and we really appreciate it and thanks to our guests so lovely. Thank you. Well, and thank you to you well, for all your donations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your donations. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>